What up traders? Wallmaster Tay up in this mud. Welcome to day 14 of Project Night Lords for the month of June 2012. All right, let me show you what I've got done. I finished completely my guy here. Just about completely. His basing isn't colored yet, but everything else is just about done. I gave him his skull face. I painted the freehand Night Lords chapter icon. I, uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I goried up the Dark Angel's helmet underneath, gave it a little bit of that wonderful Tamiya red and Chaos Black. Can't really see it, but I also added some over the mouth grill, as if the Dark Angel was spewing blood out as he had his head ripped off. It's all on the underside of the helmet too. Really, oh, gruesome stuff. But, yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's him. I like how he's just kind of looking at it like, hey, Hey buddy, we're, we're gonna charge these guys. What what do you think? Are you okay with that? And then he like makes the head wave and he's like, Oh yes, yeah, I think you should charge them. I never liked those guys anyway. Um, I'm gonna show you these two guys because I haven't gotten anything really done with them except uh, doing the first color on their their basing, the old school card and granite. Also, oh, I gotta continue shaving off that corn symbol. Let me show you the other two guys that I've just about finished. I did all the washes, darkened up the plate, and um, did the skull features. I just need to add a little bit of blood to the chain blade. I'm also planning on painting all of these, um, all of these, these cloth things that are supposed to be hanging off their waist with the pouches and the grenades. I decided to paint them as flesh, and that way I can use some more blood and gore effects along the side. I think that would be pretty cool. Like they just um, you know, skin their victims and wear them as trophies around their waists. That's pretty gruesome. That's so disturbing. And that way I can also use the blood on the chain swords, like that's what they were using to skin their victims. Um, my plan was to be able to tell the berserkers apart by their bronze brows. If you remember like last video or the video before when I was trying to figure out how to tell my berserkers apart from the rest of my troops, but I realize I can't do that because um, of the skulls that I'm going to be painting on all of them. You know, the Night Lords all have that skull white face paint. So I'm going to have to think of something else. What do you guys think is going to be a good way to be able to tell my, my Berserkers apart from the rest of my troops? Um, I don't take any suggestions you guys have. Another thing I haven't done yet on these two guys I'm going to show you that I did with this guy was paint the lightning bolts. One on his chest right there and then the other one down his left leg starting from the uh, the center and then going all the way down and splitting at the bottom. That looks pretty cool. And then let me show you Choppy McChopperson. He looks really cool with the skull mask. Um, the, the shape and the contour of that mask of the helmet really lets you define that skull that leering skull look and um, yeah the thing that's taking the longest time is picking out all the metal details because some of them I like doing in silver some of them I like doing in brass or this Balthazar gold color and just going back over them picking out all the details like the little buttons the rivets oh these rivets are taking me forever but um, I also haven't had that much time to work on my guys today which is why I only got two of them done uh, or not done but up to this level I still have to do the free hand and um, add the blood and gore but let me know what you guys think uh, it's not that much progress today I'm afraid I might ha have even less to show you tomorrow but um, just wanna you know do these guys up for you and um, also a good buddy of mine a subscriber a uh, friend Mat Matau Matt A O zero six six one. Um, suggested that I do some uh, shout-outs of those of you who are doing the painting challenge for June and uh, to send some traffic your way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll do a couple each video. I'll try to if I can uh, remember and write them down. But the first three I don't even need to write down because um, you guys are like my most avid um, posters for, for, for the month of June even though a lot of you out there are posting videos these guys are posting almost um, all the time every single day and those three uh, besides 
Mattel0661, who I just got to make a special mention of here. If you haven't checked him out, he's doing a Super Dungeon Explorer, and um, it looks pretty cool. Anime style, really, really nice. So go check him out first. Then after you're done checking him out, gotta go check out my boy, born on, uh, I don't know if he was born here, but from the islands, moved away, um, a good buddy, T27, who's doing uh, Savage Orcs, Black Orcs, Night Goblins, green skins for the fantasy game. Um, such great, such a great conversion if you haven't seen his Grom the Paunch conversion using the Fenrisian Wolves and an Avatars of War figure for Grom. Oh my god, it looks unbelievable. So check, check, in, check his project out and um, he's like working every day, he's got something to show and it's just unbelievable, it's mind-blowing. And um, if you also have time, check out um, Feral Strike who's like really come a long way. Feral Strike, I gotta tell you man, watching you from day one all the way up to, you know, day 13, I think was the last time you posted, day 12 or 13, just amazing progress. And I, I know watching your last video, you said that your orcs and goblins might have to go on the back burner, the hobby might have to go on the back burner for a bit because uh, he's got a new job. So congratulations on that, because you know, this hobby, is not the cheapest of hobbies to be wasting your time and money on but um, congratulations on the job plus he's got a whole lot of stuff going on this week this weekend um, so totally understand for everybody for all of you out there you know life is life is what it is and sometimes we want to commit ourselves to doing something silly like a project log for a whole month like this and um, turns out that life is like hey what are you doing you can't do that you gotta you gotta work or you gotta take care of your family or you gotta run from the cops what so don't worry about it um, I know how it is just play your life cards because you know we all got life cards that we can play and just say I'm gonna take a break from the hobby I'm gonna take care of take care of my thing and then come back to it when I have the time that's totally understandable and um, you know, no one's gonna think any less of any of you. I hope not, unless you're, you know, like a douchebag. Don't think any less of people who are trying to commit to a project log like this and then stuff happens. That's just what happens, you know? And I just gotta say that I am so stoked because when I did Project Dwarves um, last year, was it? I, I don't think, I don't know if anybody joined up. I think one or two people might have joined up on that one. But I mean, for this, I'm posting up videos and like every day I'm getting like two video responses, three video responses. And I'm checking all your guys' videos out. I want to be supporting you and sending traffic your way, which is why I'm going to be doing these shout outs every video. But um, yeah, I, I hope you guys keep at it. And I hope, you know, this motivates some somebody, you know, months or years from today, June, in June 2012, I hope people, you know, getting into the hobby for the first time and like five, ten years from now will look this up and have this pop up on YouTube if we haven't all blown each other up in nuclear holocaust and say, hey, this sounds like a pretty cool idea, a month of painting challenges, just submitting videos, I can do that. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm just philosophizing because it's three o'clock in the morning and I should really be getting to bed but um, you guys make it worth it watching my videos commenting I'm slowly slowly trying to co uh, respond to all the comments and um, I think I'm on like page three of my comments like 41 through 60 oh my gosh there's so much and I really want to respond to all of you and I'm sorry if I haven't yet don't think it's because you know I'm, I'm ignoring you or that like I you know think your comment is not important. I, I really value all of your feedback, and um, I like scroll through the whole page of comments. You know that's why it takes so long because sometimes I comment, I reply to like 20 different comments on a video that I haven't re replied to at all, and then um, all I see in my inbox is like the last person that commented. So like five or six people could have commented, replied to me, and I don't know it. So. Um, yeah, so I gotta do that. But, but you know, it's worth it because this interaction, this um, 
this feedback, this input that we give each other, I think um, that's really super awesome and unique and uh, it's what really ties this community together, you know, across the world, uh, in Vancouver, New York, Hawaii, Florida, wherever you are, you know, you can connect through YouTube and we can see each other's work through YouTube and, um, and I really appreciate that. So, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to me, you know, ramble on for the last 10 minutes. I'm um, sorry I didn't get more done. This Berserker Squad is taking a lot longer and um, than I thought it would. And uh, yeah, I just really appreciate all your guys' support and feedback and motivation and inspiration and all that stuff. So thanks a lot. And don't forget, I gotta mention them every day because um, they're a fledgling company. Sorry if uh, you're getting kind of sick of the plugs, but. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos, this is the first video you're watching, then hey, it's it's new, right? So Simply Painted Miniatures, check them out. The month of June, 10% discount on um, any Chaos Raptors, the new fine cast ones. Uh, if you want to get them painted up any style you want. I'm doing Night Lords, they're my chapter of the month, but you can get them painted in any scheme you want. And um, all you gotta do is mention this video for a discount. So, uh, for all the rest of you who are painting your own minis throughout the month of June, keep on going. I'm there for you. I'm in your corner. Let's uh, motivate each other and encourage each other to keep going. And even if you don't have the time to do it, um, I just really appreciate you guys checking in and watching these videos, leaving the comments to, um, you know, give us all some feedback and whatnot. So take care. Have a great day. Hope you're all doing well and happy painting.